Well, we were talking to some of the technicians uh, that work out in the field, um, replacing uh, some of the effective uh, motors, some of the newer motors, the, uh, particularly the X13 constant torque motors. Uh, they were having a, uh, having to wait for them to get ordered in, and then they had to pay to have them programmed. And at the time, they were pretty pricey for them to uh, replace the defective uh, X13 motor with the exact OEM replacement. So we looked at uh, developing our own uh, controller board for changing motor speeds. So the technician be able to take the defective OEM motor and replace it with an economical PSC motor and still get some, uh, some efficiency out of it. Got this guy here. Oh, wow. And I can actually plug him in actually where I'm looking. Okay. Okay, this guy popped off. Let me pop him back on. Yeah, uh, this is the test fixture I designed and built for testing the algorithm out for the X3 board here. So, yeah, this is this board I built by hand, uh, designed and uh, built this board by hand, and designed and built uh, this test fixture by hand here. So I'm able to control the inputs that come from a the thermostat or the uh, air handler board. I'm able to monitor what uh, what PSC motor speed I'm commanding it to do and then over here I'm able to cha uh, change the humidity and temperature that this board will de uh, detect from the unit so I'm able to adjust my temperature or humidity to different settings and make sure that the uh, PSC motor uh, changes to the correct speed to get the most efficiency out of the system okay so we have a brand new QT6104 quick swap V3 board that was just just got done uh, being fabricated so now we need to program and test it so to do that we have this uh, programming test test fixture set up here uh, each and every uh, quick swap board that we uh, build is uh, programmed and then tested to make sure make sure they all work fine before they're stuck in the package so to program it and test it We'll load it up into the, fix the fixture here. Close the lid. Clamp it down. And now to program it, we push this button. Right now it's green, so it's programming. And once this gets done flashing, it'll be programmed. All right, it is now ready to go. We have a zero. And the decimal points flashing, that's the signal to let the technician know that it is ready to be tested. Yeah, before going to college and becoming an electrical engineer, I was a, a technician quite a few years ago and did that for a number of years. And one of the problems I ran into uh, doing a lot of repairs was some of the items, some of the repair parts were not available anymore to get or they were too expensive. And I felt really bad uh, when the parts were really expensive and transferring that price onto the homeowner or the uh, customer, I felt really bad about have them having to absorb that exorbitant price. So I always wanted to work for an engineering company to do products just like this to help the, not only the consumer out but also the technician who desperately needs some, some of these parts to help them better their job and their customer relations. All right.